So I had a really good comment from Mr. Crypto Coffee, who was just asking about this particular wallet in the video, CE1E, which is the one with PulseX. They trace some tweets to his old Twitter, but leave a lot out. I wish I could follow the whole process. Well, I think I've got the answer for you, and I've just made a video. Shout out to Cold Coffee. <laughs> I don't think he's so cold. But here's the wallet, right? CE1E. If I go on top counterparties on Arkham, go all here, what you'll see is obviously the pancake stuff. If we go a little bit further down and you come onto this particular wallet here. Now, I've just I've put a label on it as Andrew Tate. I click on it here and it takes me to 7484. So 7484 is here. I do the same thing again, top counterparties. So these are transactions whereby the wallets sent some money or back and forth between certain wallets. Now, I'm going to ignore the first one. I'm going to ignore the second, third, but come on to this fourth one here. This fourth one, you'll remember from the video, is 3602, which is a confirmed Agitate wallet because it received transactions from the original War Room wallet. So if I go on to 3602 and I go, again, all counterparties, all here, transactions, and I go a little bit further down, you can see here that the... If I go onto this wallet here, this is the 1.1 million. I think this is going to come up with the 4E0, 4EE0, excuse me, which is the original wallet from the War Room transaction that was done by Jordan Welch. So hopefully that makes sense. And that ties the wallet, the cake wallet, which is not this one, the one before that, CE1E, to the original 4EE0. Zero.